It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Lions and the 49ers, and it's coming up next. We are about 40 miles or so. Jake Moody's got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Right to the air, here is Goff. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. Here's gone. and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing again is gone. And the Niners get there and bring him down. The Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sensed that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. On first down, Purdy. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. With these run-pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands 
and let them make the big plays downfield. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the 43, it's second and three. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 44 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Alex Anzalone coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up four down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And this one is right down the way. somewhat happy they wanted six but they got three in the early lead and they should be happy the guys look good getting down the field that's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. send this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And some room to run now. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender, and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go. Sometimes the thing of beauty. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. 
So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it brings up third and five now. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching and turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. From the gun on third down, golf. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown, 51 yards. And the Lions have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Purdy. That's caught by Ayuk on the slam. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator from the midfield stripe they'll look to throw they'll find Ayuk open right side and it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 29 yard line a gain there of 21 yards it's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Second down, eight to go from the 28. McCaffrey running up the middle. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions' 19-yard line. 
Give him eight yards. There's still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Brian, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And strong run him there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Touchdown, 49ers! <laughs> connection there finding his target and yeah, that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there Jake Moody now for the point after and it's through and that makes the lead 10-7 so that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Amon Ross St. Brown and the rest of the Detroit Lions getting set for another series here. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they'll come up second and seven. To throw is gone. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Goff throwing again. He 
He's got right on the short throw. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even ten years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Now Goff on first down. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Back to the air. Goff on second down. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll fake the give. Now golf. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 17-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From the red zone now, golf. And that's going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 34. Badgley's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard this taken in at the goal line 
And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. A second down throw for Purdy. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And that'll be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now Purdy. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Purdy now to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defense in front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first down, it's gone. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's right. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 
Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Slot man moves right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. On second down, here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta, and he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and now it's third and three. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 34-yard line, here's second and nine. Gibbs straight ahead. Gave a glimpse of his quick feet, but not a whole lot of space down at the 30. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Here is third and five. Now gone. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. Badgley able to knock this one through, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Edwards. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And there's absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. That ball caught, Brandon Ayu. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there on 20 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Play action. Now Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. Oh, that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Purdy will look to throw again here. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The throwing here, Purdy. Complete. He is going to have a four Niners first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. They brought in the heavy set on third down. That usually means running play, but we have seen him throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. Purdy to throw it on first down. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. This is Jennings, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. about clutch that one was right down Broadway and this game's all even here in the fourth yeah he didn't leave any doubt did he good snap good hold dead center almost like a big time golfer in a major firing at a pin from the fairway trying to win the tournament going down the stretch Setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Lions offense set to take over. 
And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Back to Montgomery on second down. He takes this for three to the 29. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Goff now looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage is too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And take it right on the 30. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. They'll come up first and 10 here. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. To throw his party. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown! George Kittle, 50 yards. And the four-liners strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. And I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced a two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's Goff and the Lions. 
down 20 to 13, a minute 44 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now it's gone. Able to complete it to Montgomery. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. They'll come up now on second down. Goff. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. Oh, yes, down by a touchdown. They needed a big play here quickly, and they got one. And now, plenty of time. No need to panic, but you do need to move quickly. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Goff now to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners have just about sewn up this football game. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's pulled in at the 32. A seven yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, their goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Another try, second and ten now. Now gone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his helmet. Now totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. But 
runs on multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. That one let go deep for Laporta. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? That one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you